In this Mithras rule video, we are going to have a look at the rules associated with swimming and holding your breath. Whether you need to prevent suffocation, asphyxiation, or just prevent your character from drowning, knowing these rules will help you both as a player and a GM to keep your head above water. Hello and welcome back to my channel. In these shorter Mithras rules videos, I take a specific rule of the game and explain it fully so that you have a good understanding of it and you can get it implemented into your game as soon as possible. Before we calculate how long our character can hold their breath for, it seems only right that we look at whether they will sink or float in that river. The rules relating to swimming can be found in the core rule book on page 70. Essentially, whether a character can swim or not depends on their swimming skill and their armor penalty. This penalty is applied to initiative and movement and the calculation for it is explained on 50, page 58 of the core rule book. But it's not that difficult, so I'm going to give it a go here. So to calculate the penalt armor penalty for initiative, you add all the encumbrance values of the armor the character is wearing and then divide the total by five, rounding up. So the resulting number is the penalty for initiative and movement, which includes swimming. Okay then, so let's work this out for a character and let's choose Ulrich, the heavy armor clad battle axe wielding and shield protecting NPC that I played for while in the Odess campaign. So Ulrich is wearing a mixture of laminated and half plate armor. The total encumbrance is 20 across all his hip point or hit locations. So we take this 20 and we divide it by five, which gives us four. And that is his initiative penalty um, minus four. Now to see whether or not the character can swim or sink or even just float in their armor, we need to work out the character's swimming speed. This is calculated by taking the character's movement skill and then adding an additional one meter for every 20% of their swimming skill. So Ulrich has a swimming skill of 22%. So he would add one meter to his usual movement rate, which is six. So he will get a swimming speed of seven. But hang on a minute. Can he actually stay afloat in the water? So to work out whether any character can either float or sink, we complete the following calculation. So for Ulrich, we will take his swimming speed, which we've just worked out as seven meters. We divide this by two and then round it up, which means we get four. You then subtract the character's armor penalty for initiative, which we've already calculated as four, which means that doing the four of the rounding up, subtracting the other four for the armor penalty, we have for Ulrich a big zero. So is Ulrich swimming? floating or sinking well if the resulting number is above zero then the character can swim if the result is zero as Ulrich's is then he can float but that's about it he's treading water just keeping his head above the surface swimming in his armor is not recommended but He's not the worst off because if the character has a negative result of the calculation, then that character cannot swim at all and will sink 
down to the bottom of the river or sea. Okay then, so Ulrich is there treading water, but if he does go underwater, how long can he hold his breath for? And before I get into that, please consider supporting the channel in any way you can. I really do appreciate it and it helps these videos be seen by other people who are interested in the Mithras rule set. And while I'm on this pause in between the two sections, can I also say what a fantastic system of encumbrance that Mithras has. And if you are not using it, then you need to. So get your head into that book and work out how much, how heavy that armor is and the impact it's going to have on your characters. And if you're sort of like thinking that all those calculations appear quite daunting, then can I recommend the Roll20 character sheet that works it all out for you? Okay, let's see how long we can hold our breath for. <gasps> So back in the adventure, Ulrich is frantically treading water, not being able to swim at all. So let's say at some point, tentacles from the riverbed reach up and wrap themselves around Ulrich's legs and pull him under. How long can Ulrich or any character hold their breath for before dying? A character can hold their breath for the number of seconds equal to their endurance skill. So Ulrich has an endurance of 60%. So he can hold his breath for 60 seconds or roughly one minute. A combat round in Mithras is about five seconds of real time. So he can hold his breath for about 12 rounds. However, there are some restrictions on this amount of time. You can only hold your breath for the maximum amount if you are ready to go underwater and you have the opportunity to fill up your lungs with air before going under. If you have not had this preparation time, then the amount of time is halved. So not expecting to be pulled under at all, Ulrich can now only hold his breath for 30 seconds. That's half of the original 60 or six combat rounds. Oh dear, things are going downhill or underwater quickly. So Ulrich gets tugged underwater. He doesn't have time to fill his lungs. So he's got about 30 seconds or six combat rounds of breath. But Ulrich is not going to take this. He's going to be fighting underwater and wielding his battle axe to try to get those tentacles off him. And in this case, the amount of time is reduced again. So if the character is engaged in strenuous activity, i.e. fighting like Ulrich, the amount of time from the original amount is reduced to one fifth. So as Ulrich swipes at the tentacles with his battle axe, he only has 12 seconds of breath or two combat rounds remaining. So 12 seconds because it's one fifth of the original amount, which was 60. Let's hope somebody else is diving in and is going to help him out. So pretty soon Ulrich is tiring as he's trying to break away from the tentacles and swim up to the top of the river. So once the amount of time that the character can hold their breath for has passed, then the character needs to make an endurance check. So if this is a critical success, then no further deterioration um, occurs. The character is going to be making this check every round, so every five seconds. If the character, uh, so critical success, nothing bad happens. Successful, the character is still holding their breath but gains one level of fatigue. If they fail, they gain a 1d2 
levels of fatigue so either one or two and if they fumble then we roll a 1d3 and add the number of levels to their existing fatigue as you can tell as they're holding their breath for longer longer every round they're making this endurance check and remember fatigue can actually render the um, character um, semi-conscious, unconscious, comatose, or even kill them outright. Let's just hope there's somebody around to help Ulrich. If you need any further information about fatigue, then you can find a link to a video that I made about fatigue either on the screen now or in the description below. So we will leave Ulrich fighting underwater, hacking at those tentacles and hoping that he doesn't drown due to swallowing half the river or becoming unconscious. Remember, if there's any rules that you would like me to feature, then please do let me know in the comments below. And if you have found this video helpful, then do support the channel in any way you can. Until next time, I hope all your opposed roles are successful and reward you with a well-deserved special. Until then, happy Mithrasig, everyone. See ya. Bye.